Hey, what's up guys, Scamviv here, and welcome to this Inform Area Review. The guy who got robbed of 5 star skills, he's now 4 star skills, and he's now a transferred card as well. Obviously, his normal Ultimate Team card, well, the original one, is at Werder Bremen. He's now got a transferred card at Southampton, which came out yesterday, and now his Inform is in packs, which is pretty nice. It is on the left side as well. Obviously, he doesn't have his 5 star skills anymore, which is a bit of a shame. But as you can see, I paid 89k for him, and in 6 games, he scored 4 times and got 2 assists, which, to be honest, for such a low rated Inform, isn't a bad effort at all. Um, I will say something, his shooting isn't great. And you can see that from his card already. And in game, his shooting isn't great. It's very inconsistent, and you'll see that in the clips. The best thing about him is what's on his card. His pace and his dribbling. His pace and his dribbling, very, very good. He's very quick on the ball. He's very agile. His dribbling actually feels really good. He hops in and outside of players, which is good to see. He's got good balance on him. His strength isn't horrendous for a winger, which uh, you do find with quite a few wingers that they're quite weak. But uh, with Elliot, wasn't too much of an issue because uh, he, he actually did have a bit of strength in game, which was good to see. It is just a massive shame that he no longer has them five star skills. Anyway, as you can see, the speed stat and the dribble are uh, specialties, which pretty much sums it up to be honest, because as I said, that's what it was all about. The pace down the wing, which uh, includes how good he was at dribbling. And you can see that, look how good he is on the ball here. Very unlucky, I did actually know he scores this one. There is a few of them where he cuts inside and doesn't score them, because as I say, his shooting is very inconsistent. And even that shot there, that was pretty much straight at the keeper, and he uh, did go ahead and mess that up, which is uh, a bit annoying. But as you can see there, sets up a goal in the 50th minute, very, very nice little chip into the box. But here it is, look at this, he's got the acceleration to get away, getting away from Alexis Sanchez there, down the wing, Cristiano's coming after him, he cuts inside very nicely, actually puts the defender on his ass, and eventually just uh, plays it straight out of the keeper. But a great run, a great attacking run, and was good to see. Here he goes through on goal, and look at this, I, I tapped it. I tapped it and it goes ahead and does that. Now this game was very interesting because this shows the best and the worst of Elia in one game, which is why which is why I put so much uh, time into this game. As you can see here, cuts back inside, draws a penalty, all good. It's all good. It's all good from there. And he does go ahead and slot it in, despite uh, not the best penalty, as you saw in the bottom right. But the worst is yet to come. Trust me, Elliot breaking through here. I try and take it on the goalkeeper and that. That was a shot. I swear to you, that was a shot. I tapped it and he did that, which was very, very frustrating. And uh, he does get a bit unlucky here not to finish, but eventually the ball does, does get put in the net and uh, Elliot did indeed set up the goal. So the main talking points about this guy is mainly pace and dribbling. That is the best thing about him, uh, is pace and dribbling. It's such a shame that he hasn't got that fast ass skills because it would add another dimension to his game. Uh, he's very agile, he's very good on the ball, his crossing is decent, he's nothing. Um, it's nothing like great, it's not super accurate, but for such a lowered in form, it's pretty damn good. Negatives for me was his, his strength. Like, as I said, he's not ridiculously weak for a winger, but he does get shoved about a bit, but he has got decent balance, so that kind of counteracts it a bit. And uh, his inconsistent shooting. One minute he'll have like a very powerful accurate shot, the next it's uh, very weak and straight at the keeper, and that was just very, very confusing. Overall, he's a decent winger for a cheap in form, but I don't feel he's worth 90k. If he does drop, I, I do feel he will drop to 20k. That's best, probably the best time to pick him up. Anyway guys, that's my review of Inform Elliot. Hope you have enjoyed. Remember to leave a like, comment below who you'd like to review next. Have a very good day. Adios.